New questions tonight on just when we will have a vaccine. With many states reopening, the question needs to be answered sooner than later. Here on Currents News, we're trying to answer your questions in our weekly segment, Ask the Doctor. Dr. Robert Tabali from the Catholic Medical Association joined Currents News' Christine Persichetti. She started off asking him about a troubling question for many Catholics. What if a vaccine is produced using tissues from abortions? Here's Dr. Tabali. Two leading vaccine candidates right now that are farthest along <clears throat> actually uh, do arise or have been used uh, a fetal tissue. Um, there is another vaccine um, that is uh, advanced as well that is not using fetal cell lines. Um, the, uh, the Vatican's directive actually in the past actually issued under the office of uh, Cardinal Ratzinger at the time um, was recommending that if there are acceptable alternatives, use vaccines raised in a morally acceptable manner. <clears throat> the, um, uh, some of the medicines that are being raised for other complications, in addition to the vaccines, um, are being raised in hybrid mouse models which use um, aborted fetal tissue to hybridize the mice. And so they, these would be considered to be unethical and moral, um, but uh, it would remain to be seen whether or not the Vatican <clears throat> or our church leadership would advise us to um, partake of these um, since there would be no other alternative means in some situations. Uh, that being said, me personally, I would not use one of these vaccines if it was raised in the immoral, unethical manner. Okay, now I wanna ask you about some treatment, um, in particular remdesivir, the drug showed in a study that improves patients' recovery time. Uh, the FDA also plans to announce an emergency use authorization for it. What are your thoughts on that? Well, remdesivir had some early uh, signs in individual patients treated here in the United States, including the first patient uh, in Washington State, where he had a dramatic, or I assume it's a patient, a male, uh, they had a, a dramatic improvement. Um, and we're heading into respiratory failure and actually was able to be discharged uh, several days after receiving the remdesivir. So this appears to be highly active. All these medicines would be more active when given earlier. Now, this study was done in, in late patients, uh, very sick patients. So uh, China had a similar <clears throat> trial uh, that was done, but this was complicated by use of Chinese herbal medicines, other medicines such as HIV type medicines, in addition to the remdesivir. And plus, the Chinese trials used remdesivir made in China. Actually, the Chinese government has actually patented remdesivir in the use uh, for uh, coronavirus, at least in China, mm. um, another theft of intellectual property. <clears throat> uh, supposedly was some license to Gilead Sciences. But this is a great, uh, a great news, actually. Um, there are other medicines uh, that could possibly be used. I, I talk about favipiravir a lot. It's an oral medicine uh, with a track history uh, used in Japan, used for other things, uh, other RNA viruses. What about hydroxychloroquine? There's been a couple of conflicting studies. The most recent says it can help patients. What do you think? And we have about 20 seconds. Hydroxychloroquine has been very helpful for my patients. I have quite a bit of faith in it. And uh, like any medicine, it needs to be used early and not in irretrievable, uh, horrendously sick patients. But I use it all the time. That was Dr. Robert Tabale from the Catholic Medical Association, and he is in every Friday to tell you what you need to know about the latest medical developments involving the coronavirus crisis and answer your questions. So send them to askthedoctor at tosalesmedia.org. We'll try to get to all of them. That way you can be safe and healthy. Again, the email is askthedoctor at tosalesmedia.org. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.